Hello, beautiful awakened souls. Welcome to this live. We're going to be talking about full moon energies. The full moon is coming up on September 20th. And then we're also going to be talking about a download that's come through that I was um, kind of bringing through earlier today and then also um, checked in with the Galactic Federation of Light before coming on this live and, you know, want to really bring through this message right now. And it's all kind of connected, everything that we're going to talk about. Why? Well, hello, everybody that's joining. Hello. Thanks for all joining. Can everybody hear me okay? Okay, so hi, Susie. All right, so what I was saying is that we're going to talk about a few things in this live. We're going to talk about the full moon energies that are coming up on September 20th. Um, so, so basically there's a ton of energy happening right now. You can feel the energy of the collective and you can also feel your own local energy. So for me right now, a uh, local collective is the fact that in Ontario, which is what I would call the local collective, um, hi Janine, I would say it's volatile, chaotic, intense, because election day is on the 20th, which is Monday. That's a full moon. And it's not just a local election, it's an election for the whole country, like federal. That means the whole, like what in the States, they have a president, we have a prime minister. It's a big prime minister election. It's on Monday, which happens to be a full moon as well. Um, so that's wonderful together. And then Wednesday is when the vaccine passport goes into effect here in Ontario. So all of that within a couple of days is just crazy. Hi, Saturn Research. How are you? Thanks for saying hi. So there's a lot going on. So what I want to talk about is the first download that came through. Um, and I was, I quickly had a discussion with the Galactic Federation of Light before coming on here today. Um, so here's what I want to pose to you as a question. Is every perspective truth? Do you believe that every perspective is truth? Um, that's a tricky question, isn't it? Because we get so attached to our personal truths and perspectives. So what's going on right now is a widespread inability to communicate. And that is causing so much separation and division. And the inability to communicate is I mean, you probably see it. It's very much online. It's like almost impossible to communicate online with anyone, but then also in person now too. So if you have a differing opinion to someone, it's like communication just ends, right? And so there's that old Sonoma that our parents used to tell us, you don't talk about politics and you don't talk about religion. Like, I don't know, with company or at the dinner table, I forget the end of that saying, maybe somebody knows what it is, but it was, I remember it being said to me and I've seen it on TV and everything. You don't talk about politics and you don't talk about religion. That's what everybody says, right? Well, here's the problem with that. Um, oh, you're saying, Saturn Research is saying the video froze. Please let me know if everybody can still see me. Hopefully it's still good. Um, so the problem with that saying is that people take that, have taken that literally and that is how they have raised their children so now you have children like especially here in canada that are so incredibly polite <laughs> that we will not um discuss politics or religion and the, the thing is right now we need to this is the time this is so important right now to actually discuss those things but we've got this huge inability to communicate because maybe we never properly learned how to hold space for someone as they're speaking so that they can in turn do that for you. It's just not happening at all anywhere. So thank you to everyone who's joining. Hello. Um, so Tanya saying in hair school, it was never discussed sex, politics, or religion. Yeah, <laughs> sex too. I can see that being um, grouped in with that. And why? Why is that taboo? The problem with that is the po so the politics so the the vote coming up on Monday here in, in Canada all of Canada not just Ontario the vote coming up is important but we're not supposed to talk about it and then if you do try to talk about it then everybody is losing their minds like it's instant volatile like clashing 
and no one's listening at all, right? So communication heals. It heals us. And so we as awakened souls, uh, once again, we need to be the way showers of this. We need to be the examples. We need to start setting the example of the world that we are creating. So I'm sure you've seen my last couple of videos on YouTube or even my last few, few reels here on Instagram where we're talking about the great divide. We are absolutely experiencing that right now in our lifetime, which is insane, but it's happening. We're seeing two worlds living together on one planet. We're going with 3D and 5D. Those are just human terms, so don't get too caught up in that. But it's so true. And so now what we're doing is building a world from the ground up on this side with the 5D. So how are we going to communicate with each other? How are we going to come together as one if we don't try, right? So what I had here for a note on that is just that communication heals so, so much. When you hold space for someone and you allow them to say their piece, to speak their mind, something inside of them just, it just releases. The tension, the anxiety, the fear of not being heard it just lets go and suddenly you have this very calm person in front of you and now they're able to use their words without all of that emotional charged you know energy or frequency behind it and then once you do that for someone many times not every time but many times they will then in turn hold space for you i have seen this happen online it's rare but it's more likely to happen in person. Um, I've seen this happen in person, like for me recently with family. It's like everybody gets so heated about, you know, your V status, whether you are or aren't or going to or not going to and the passport and everything. And it's like when I, instead of getting heated or emotionally charged, when I just say, okay, I understand why you feel that way. I understand where you're coming from and then just stop and then just let people breathe and they calm down and then they're like, well, I can actually see where you're coming from too. I can, you know, I can understand why you feel that this is, you know, against your freedoms or whatever, right? That's it. That's all it takes to create healing. So the thing is that every perspective is valid. So the question that I asked at the beginning of this, is every perspective truth? It is, it absolutely is, because for many reasons, which is important for you to understand, so that when you're communicating with other people, or maybe feeling like your own thoughts or words, you're feeling unheard, your perspective matters, it is truth. We all have our own perspectives and they are all true, because perspective is a layered experience of the baggage that you're bringing from childhood, from past lives, it's also your viewpoint on the world from where you sit at, in your seat, which is different than everybody else's. You're not a nurse in a hospital right now, for instance. So you're not going to have the perspective of that. But maybe you are not doing a lot of independent research. So your, your perspective isn't based on that. It doesn't mean that anybody is wrong. And that's why it's so hard and confusing, because I don't think anyone is wrong or right. It's just that we all have really strong feelings and opinions. So that makes it really difficult. Um, so when you give people the space to be heard, it heals them. And then they become someone that's more likely going to hold space for others to be heard. Okay, so that's the most important thing that I could say about any of this. And if you understand them, if in that space that you hold for someone, you actually try to understand where they're coming from, that's authentically holding space for someone. That's not like empty, where you're just like, all right, talk. That's not holding space for someone. Holding space for someone is saying, okay, I'm gonna let you talk because I can see this is really important to you. And then maybe I'll share something. Please explain to me where you're coming from. I care about you and I wanna understand. And then, you listen and you learn something. I guarantee you'll learn something. And then it makes your perspective more well-rounded. And then they heal. 
and we're healers. That's what awakened souls are doing right now. Star seeds, light workers, awakened souls. You are leading the way right now in the world. You truly are leading the way. You are hosting peaceful rallies. You are speaking your truth. You are holding space for others. You are spreading love and compassion. You are trying to see both sides of everything. You are doing the best that you can. You are doing amazing. So it's so important that we continue with this trying to understand others and being compassionate. It's so important. And maybe that isn't what you you thought that, you know, the galactic update right now would be. It's like, well, no, shouldn't it be about our freedoms and this and that? And that's not what came through. What came through is you need to learn how to communicate humans. You're not doing it. It's completely there's this widespread inability to communicate. It's not happening. When we communicate, we're going to come together. When we listen to each other, understand each other and have compassion for each other, regardless of how many different opinions and perspectives and how you vote or how whatever you believe or your V status, it doesn't matter. Let that all go. None of that matters. What matters is that you are holding space for someone to the free will to have their own feelings and thoughts. That's free will. Allowing someone to share that with you is so powerful and healing. We need to extend free will right now because we're feeling like it's getting like compressed and compressed. And if you can just spread it in this way with love and compassion, it's gonna make such a big difference. I really believe in free will being the answer here. It is the answer to oneness coming back on this planet, it is the answer to Christ consciousness coming back into people's hearts. It is the answer to a new earth. It's everything. Free will is everything. So how do we bring free will through? I don't know if, if you guys watch my YouTube videos. I recently had a video where I was like, I don't know how to do it yet, but I just know that I need to restore free will here on this earth. I feel so strongly within myself that I am a free will agent in the matrix, if you will, because what other word can I use for this? It is a 3D matrix. And I've literally been inserted in a program where it's designed to keep me asleep. And I woke up anyway. And now I'm awake and I'm like, I know who I am. I'm a free will agent. I know that's who I am. How do I do it now? Now what do I do? And we need those practical steps. Like what do I do now? The first thing is to shine your light. To shine your light on um, any part of the world where free will is not um, free. <laughs> free will is not, you know, free to spread to others. Where it's being blighted, where it's being taken away, where it's being stripped from people. Really talk about shining your light on free will. So use your voice to shine your light on free will. But how now can we spread free will? Because we have it. We are sovereign beings. We are not giving our free will away. How can we give it to others? How can we spread it like a fire, like a flame from person to person to person? This is how. You give them space to communicate with you. How they are feeling. Try to understand them. Try to be compassionate. That is you creating a space for free will. And free will just happens to vibrate at the frequencies of things like unconditional love, compassion, understanding, Christ consciousness, oneness, free will. It's all together in the same package. This is the new earth. This is the new earth. This is how we do it. We shine our lights and we begin restoring free will. I am certain that there will be many other ways that are going to come through about how to restore free will here on earth for humans. It is their... God given right to have free will on this planet and they don't. It's it's you know what when I say that they don't, it's almost like they do, but they don't know that they do. It does that make sense to you? Okay, maybe we should talk about that. Because can anyone really take your free will or can they just convince you that it's missing? Through manipulation and the media and everybody around you trying to bully you into something, does that mean you don't have it? Until the moment you give it away, you have it, right? 
And again, this is not about your V status. Stop getting caught up in that. That is not about your V status when I say that. You can, I know, I know a lot of beautiful people that have had the V and stand for free will. And that was their free will choice. And they are awakened souls. And in their timeline, that's what made sense for them. And who are, that? that is beautiful that they made that choice from an awakened state. Then it's perfect for them, right? It's when you make choices or live your life out of fear or, or coercion, then you're handing your free will over. So it's really important to not give it away. So when I say free will is being stripped away from people, I mean, it is in extreme circumstances. There are people, women and children, where their free will has been stripped away, where they have been human trafficked on this planet, in Orion, in other planets. It's happening in more than just Earth. It's insane what's going on. Um, but we're all healing together. Orion is healing. Orion's belt is healing. Earth is healing. We are bringing through these healing energies. We are bringing through this empowerment. We were rising up the divine feminine for so many months there. And now the divine masculine is on its way up. And I see that all around me. A huge shift in the divine masculine. They're coming up to meet us. Because it isn't about one rising without the other. It is about rising together. That is so important too. So the part that was that I was talking with the Galactic Federation of Light about before this is they showed me a vision of how many councils they deal with, of different kinds of people with different opinions. Um, so the Galactic Federation of Light is this giant umbrella, and underneath that umbrella is all these little councils, the Orion Council of Light, the Pleiadian Council of Light, councils of light, councils of, there's a council of humanity. There's a lot of councils. And there are so many different kinds of beings from all around the multiverse. So they showed me this visual of them having to do exactly what I'm describing, this very heartfelt communication. Now, maybe they do that telepathically and maybe that makes it easier because through telepathy, you actually feel the person's intention, right? You can feel what they're feeling. You feel like if you knew how someone felt when they said something, you would it would be a lot easier to understand them and have compassion. So yes, it would be easier for them because of that. And it's chaotic here on earth. However, it's still what needs to happen. So they showed me this visual, visualization of them having these meetings where it's all these different councils and there's all these and sometimes it gets heated they're not perfect they're not source they're not god like they are you know beings that are in fifth sixth seventh all these different frequencies trying to have a conversation can you just imagine what that would look like it would probably be um kind of chaotic like it's not perfect up there at all so what they were showing me is that Everybody has to be given their chance to speak and be heard. It has to be equal and fair for everybody to feel heard. And that that was what created harmony. And then they said to me, and that's a new earth. And I was like, oh, it was like this download, like, oh, that just makes so much sense. That is a new earth. That is what we need as the, as the core of it. That, every, that everybody has free will, everybody has equal rights, and everybody has that space to be heard and to speak. And so that's what we're lacking right now. So many people are just, you know, when someone doesn't feel heard, it escalates, escalates, escalates. And before you know it, they're screaming from the tops of their lungs, posting crazy extremist stuff because they weren't heard. And then they just, they feel like they need to be louder and louder and more extreme and more extreme. And it's all coming from this inability to communicate and keep people like, it's okay. I hear you. I get it. I get it. And I totally understand where you're coming from. Like, you know, you're not saying I 100% agree with you. We're not supposed to all agree. We're all different, right? But this is just huge. And, you know, this is something that when we learn it, and we give it as a gift to others, it spreads free will, it spreads oneness, it spreads unity, and it's like a seed being planted in someone's mind or heart for the next time that they try to speak. Maybe then the next time they're gonna let someone speak and be heard and hold space for them, right? Okay, so before I move on to the full moon energy updates, cause that was just a little download from the Galactic Federation and like the collective, 
Um, I just want to back up and see if I missed, looks like I missed a ton of stuff. Um, see if there's any questions in here. Thank you all so much for all your love. Um, you're all so sweet. Everybody's waving and saying hi. Um, and agreeing that yes, holding space is authentic and magical. Conversation is so important. Um, thank you for agreeing with the spirit of that, like the wisdom within that, not with me specifically, but seeing the wisdom within that and how respecting one another in this way is going to make such a big difference and that we are, remember, we are the leaders of this. So you have to go out and do it, right? Um, okay, anything else? Um, yes, Lindsay. Lindsay, I was thinking of you when I said that. She said, you always have free will. No one can take it away from you. It's a universal law. It absolutely is. And I, I, I'm going to hold space for you and totally feel where you're coming from and understand that. And I think it's like about people believing that it's been taken away. So then they give up and they surrender. That's what's happening too right now. All of this surrender. And then the, the forces that be don't even have to fight against anything because everyone surrenders. They're like, well... I literally just had my own family tell me to surrender. It was so disheartening. Um, well, you know what? Yes, Canada is turning into like a totalitarianism. I don't even know how to say that fascist country. Um, yes, they've taken everyone's rights away, but you know what? You need permits for everything these days. So you might as well just go with it. And it's like, okay. So then just let me hand over the little bit of of what I have, like the little bit of freedom or whatever, and just give it away. Cause I do believe um, that you can give your free will away. And then, then you've really got a problem, right? Because trying to fight to get that back is going to be intense because then you've got to believe that you can get it back too. So I agree with that, that we all have free will to start out with, but I do think that people do lose it, especially here on earth. That's one of the dark games. That's one of the dark agenda games. And no, not everybody has to believe, with, agree with me at all on this. Like just hold space for a sec. Um, I do believe that it's being taken away from some people. So I will say that mostly I agree with that, but I do see it being taken away. When people surrender and then they give it away, it's gone, right? Then you've really got a problem. And I also see it being taken away from people forcibly because I, I just, I just, I know what a soul contract is. I know that people that have been trafficked, some of them might've had soul contracts to, you know, equal out something that's happened in a past life, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like like say a mother or a, a child or something, a woman or a child right now, can they really, if they're in a human trafficking situation, take back their free will without help? I don't know. I don't know. There is definitely some dark deeds going on where it's being stripped away from people forcibly. What makes people susceptible to that? I don't know, but that's a really good question, isn't it? Is it not being awakened? Is it a lead up to that happening where little bits of free will are taken away and then finally the last... I don't know. I'm not going to, I mean, maybe that's something that would be interesting to channel. Not interesting, it would be dark to channel, but it would be good to know. But I do feel that their free will has been taken. I mean, I, I feel it. Like, I just feel it, right? And I don't have any proof of that. I just really feel it for the women and the children. So I don't know. And that confuses me because I do believe everyone has free will to start. So where did it go, right? How did it get taken? So just really important for you to not give it away. Do not surrender, do not give it away out of coercion, manipulation, or bullying. And then spread that flame. Your free will is like a flame in your heart. Just spread that to others. And this was one really powerful way to do that, what we talked about. So, okay. Um, let's see. Everybody's awesome comments. Thank you so much for all of your love and appreciation. Um, uh, uh, some people agreeing like they've also seen kind of things like that with the Galactic Federation of Light having all of the little councils absolutely um, so and, and I don't I also don't think that I would come in being like I'm an agent of free will and I'm here to restore free will if it wasn't missing in some way too right because that just really resonates with me so um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys and Lindsay, um, you're saying it's so hard to understand it on a human level right now. Yeah, I feel like there's a deeper understanding we haven't received yet. Oh my gosh, of course, 100% feel that too. Because when we, like when we are outside of the human and we have access to everything 
everything would probably look like it's like in perfect order in a way like okay well i see that everything is on track everything is connected like a checkerboard or a, sp a beautiful spider web and it's all feeding each other and it's all necessary in some way but if it is all necessary in some way then so is the fight for free will it's a part of that spider web right um okay and thank you everyone who's just joining thank you so much okay so unless we want to talk anymore you can just pop any more comments in there about the free will but i totally i totally get that perspective and i understand it and i somehow believe in that but i also believe in this um being an awakened soul within a matrix to help restore free will to humanity as a free will agent that resonates really strongly with me so i need to go with that right um okay so then the next thing is uh, the full moon. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what was coming through for the full moon. So if you are in Canada, um, and you know what? Maybe even if you're not in Canada, Canada's really big. I don't know if you know this, we have a huge country. So you're gonna feel this energy regardless. But if you're in Canada, you are really gonna feel it. The full moon falls on election day. So it's absolutely huge and the theme of this full moon is organized chaos so everything looks like chaos right now in canada like absolutely and this is a reflection of other areas because this is happening in australia in the uk in france and in some states not all so it's being reflected and mirrored throughout the world organized chaos is the theme of this full moon so what that means or what came through was that um personally this happening, but also it happening collectively, where you are seeing your path or the path amidst the chaos. So everything looks like absolute fire, war, riots, division, separation, yet there's something inside of you now that's going, wait, I, I kind of recognize this. I think this is the way. And that was the download that I had about the passports being the catalyst or the tool to create that great divide between 3D and 5D. And that as painful as that is, and as much as I've grieved that and am grieving that, grieving that so much that this is my last weekend of freedom, because I know that I'm a free sovereign being, but in the law's eyes, this is my last weekend, my last opportunity to go to the movies, which I'm absolutely gonna do, or go eat in at a restaurant or I mean do absolutely anything really so of course I'm gonna take that advantage and I'm gonna do that this weekend and soak up all of those beautiful free will vibes um, what was the point of that um, okay so as much as I'm grieving like just describing to you what I'm going through personally I still somehow see that I still see the path like it's, it's such a weird juxtaposition of being so hurt and upset and scared and fearful and feeling all the human feelings that we need to feel and process. And then the old wise soul within me going, it's okay. And showing me a path that's leading somewhere better. And that all of this chaos is a part of that plan. And it's, it's hard to see that. It's hard to feel at peace with that. But is there a part of you deep, deep within that knows that? that all of this separation and this divide is because we have to go over here on our own to create a new earth. And that we can't do it on the foundations of the 3D matrix. Can't be done. The 3D matrix with the banking system and the healthcare system and the fossil fuels and the governments, that is never going to sprout a new earth. So you can't even knock it down to the foundation and then use it, like you just can't. So now it's like, well, you can't use this world at all, so we're gonna take you out of it. And then we want you to do what you're doing over here with nothing to start, which is scary. Yes, we know you're afraid. And then birth a new earth. That's what I'm feeling. So that's organized chaos. That's why I mean what I mean by the theme, organized chaos. Um, so what else came through for the full moon is just, um, you know, it's funny because it falls on an election day, which is also organized chaos. If you've ever been to, well, obviously you probably all voted. That's like a chaotic place to go, but it's also kind of organized. So, um, yeah. So then I'm just going to see, do a little channeling and see if there's anything else that wants to come through. But once again, I'm just going to back up and I don't want to ignore any of you. 
Um, Flow with Antoinette says, we have to unlearn and relearn so much. Yeah, yeah. Unlearn it for sure. Start fresh. There's so much division and closed-mindedness, says Matthew Trax. Absolutely, there is. And we're, we're each experiencing our own realities. That's free flow native healing. But we are also connected as one. Yes, there's a personal timeline and then the collective timeline. And the personal timeline um, affects the collective. And that's why we all need to go into this personal timeline of abundance, free will, joy, coming together, holding space, compassion, because it will eventually affect the larger timeline of the human collective. Um, that's an interesting thought from Matthew Trax. So many are afraid of freedom. They want to be controlled. Yes. Yes. Thank you for saying that. Um, I absolutely feel that way too. It's almost like, oh, it's too much to research for me. Can I just hand over my decision to you and you just tell me what's best for me and then make me feel good by saying it's backed by the CDC or something, right? Um, and then DJ, DJ Dragon Nymph says, it's an exciting time. Yes, yes it is. Did you ever think that we would see this in our life? How many spiritual teachers for decades, maybe longer, have been talking about these prophecies? The Hopi Rainbow Warrior prophecy, the prophecy of the split. Is that Dolores Cannon? Was she the first person to talk about that? I don't know, maybe someone before her talked about the 3D to the 5D split and how it would be like two worlds or two societies on one planet, two worlds on one planet, and how we would feel like we had to leave it behind and start a new one. Like this literally, it's happening. It's crazy, it's actually happening. Um, and then Lindsay's saying, back to the free will, I've been struggling with the concept myself as well, to be honest, it's hard because it resonates, but at the same time, I have questions because it doesn't fully add up. Yeah, absolutely, like we're missing pieces. So we just need to keep, like have the faith and continue to work with what resonates with you and then trust that the pieces will be added in. Like when I when I had the download that like I was a free will agent here to restore free will for humanity and that's all you have to go on, that's like, well, that's not much, but you just have to trust in that feeling if it's so strong in your heart and then slowly receive information as you're ready. You can't be given it before you're ready. And so then it's like, okay, well, I don't know how to do that yet to restore it but I know that I want to. So I'm gonna just start talking about that. And I'm just gonna start shining my light on that. And then slowly more and more will be added in, right? It's good to stay humble. It's good to stay open-minded. It's okay to change your mind. It's, you know, if you're following any kind of pages or spiritual teachers that claim to know it all or don't allow people to change their minds or aren't humble, just that's not the energy we need right now. We need the humble energy of like, Everyone is on the same level, everyone is on the same page, and we're all on the same team, and we need to work together. And that's it, right? Um, systems are breaking down, says DJ Dragon Nymph. Absolutely, absolutely. Someone asked where I live, Ontario, Canada. Um, and so, so there's a lot of energy happening just in Canada in general, but especially Ontario, because of the full moon that falls on the election, which is all on Monday. And then on Wednesday, the passport goes into effect. So that's why this weekend I'm going to do everything I can to enjoy my freedoms. Um, freedoms, okay? Because I know I'm a sovereign being with free will. And I will absolutely see a movie theater again. I know that it will come back around. It will. Um, okay. So organized chaos. Yes, everybody is really resonating with that being the theme of the full moon. Okay. And thank you everyone new who's joining. Um, and okay, last comment, that's so true. Some are complacent and completely okay, not thinking for themselves. And that's okay, but that's not all of our past. Yeah, and, and you know what? That's their free will to feel that way. So can we hold space for them in that too? And this is all like so important not to get into a place of judgment. It's so easy to get frustrated. Like I've felt so much frustration when I'm trying to tell people like, you have free will. You don't just have to go along with things. And then they're like, well, and then you're like, are you serious? And it's like, whoa, I'm the one that needs to calm down. I, you know, if you find yourself using words like they're asleep, they're sheep, 
any of that, that is not loving. That is not loving and that is not helping either. Set the example because you know, this war that they are trying to create between the your V status, whether you have it or don't have it, they're trying to create a war between those two groups of people and the V passport is like the match on the haystack, like just throwing a match on the gas or whatever to like really ignite this war. And we just can't be at war with our brothers and sisters because they are not the problem. They are not the problem. And remember that, zoom out. No, no beautiful soul that's doing their best is the problem here. Um, they're just not, right? So what we're trying to do is come together in oneness, unity, equality, and anything that is perpetuating separation and division is the problem, not the people that are being affected by it. Okay, so that was the last thing that I had to say. So I just wanna see, just do a little channeling for you guys live and see if anything last message comes through, maybe about the full moon, I don't know, anything. But before I do that, I just wanna remind you, or tell you, because this is brand new, um, I released a new section on my website for guided meditations and experiences. And on there is a moon one. So it's good for any full moon. You could also use it on a new moon, but it's really good for the full moon. So the full moon is almost here. I would recommend if you haven't tried, I know my members have all done it and it's, you guys, please don't go on there and pay for it because you have free access to it. Um, but it's a journey to the moon where you are accompanied by a lunar angel and you experience so much healing, karmic healing, a rebalancing of the feminine and the masculine energies within you. There's a lot that happens in that beautiful journey. So check that out if you are looking for a full moon ritual or something to do on the full moon. And it's under, it's on, you'll see it in my link tree if you're on Instagram right now. Um, but you'll also find it on my website under the page that is guided journeys and experiences and activations and that. And it's the moon one. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to tune in. So I set up a safe space before I even started this call. So please don't worry if you don't see me like connecting to source and doing all the things you're supposed to do before you channel. It's been done before I even started this. So I am safe and we are good. And everything that comes through, I set the intention that everything that comes through is from the light. It's pure. It's truth. And it's for the highest good of humanity right now on this timeline right now. Okay. So I just want to see what comes through a final parting message, maybe. So what's coming through is the Galactic Federation of Light again. So I kind of created that connection earlier and I still feel them there. And they're saying, so they're saying you are sovereign beings, powerful sovereign beings, the awakened souls, they're specifying the awakened souls on earth right now are the sovereign beings with their free will. And it is impossible to drain that from you. So making a very noticeable distinction between somebody who is awakened or not awakened and the ability to then manipulate somebody that has not had an awakening um, easily, to manipulate them easily. And I'm also seeing them being drained easily and sight, like siphoning their power, draining them because they don't know how to protect themselves. And then I'm, I'm reminded of the video Starseed Protect Yourself. And if you haven't watched that yet, please watch that because I do feel like there are people even within this community that are unknowingly being drained of their precious energy. Um, that's happening a lot uh, because the darker forces or the dark agendas that had all of this power being given to them, uh, a lot of those energy cords are being cut. Like a lot of people are waking up, so they're lacking power now. They're noticing like a reduction of it. And so then they're going even harder and draining people in society and things like that. So just, I just really want you to make sure you're protecting yourself. So, okay, so they were saying sovereign awakened souls, sovereign beings, beings of free will, beings of light, courageous lion warriors. Lyra is working with you now. Sirius is working with you now, both which of which have lion beings on them. Um, and there are many incarnate lion souls lion-hearted souls on the earth right now, including you. Oh, me, they meant me, including me. So including probably so many of you too. 
Um, they pointed at me when I was like, including you. Oh, no, me. Um, including so many of us. Oh, my gosh. So now they're showing me like a visual of the globe and like all of the awakened souls being like these bright blue lights. And I always see blue light with Lyra, too, because blue light is really powerful. That's been coming up so much lately as like divine protector energy, divine warrior energy, um, like Archangel Michael and his beautiful blue light. Um, okay, so they're saying that so many Lyran, Syrian souls, but basically lion souls, lion-hearted souls, are on the earth at this time for a reason. And the old souls in that group have awakened as the first and second waves, but there is a third wave of awakening. And it will be so many lion souls waking up. I'm getting so much heat and chills as I'm saying this. So we're about to have a bunch of lions wake up on the planet. That is going to be so powerful. Oh my God, like fiery, courageous, brave energy. It is needed, they're saying. It is needed. The, the organized chaos, they're doing it with quotations because that was my thing. The organized chaos that you were speaking about is going to continue, the chaos is going to continue, the separation and the division is going to continue, and these lion souls that are awakening over the next, even, even three to six months, like really soon, really recently, couple of months, huge blast of awakening energy, specifically, specifically for those lion souls. It's like a, they're showing me this wave of a solar flash or solar energy that is specifically designed with lion codes in it. Like if you've had a Lyran lifetime, a Syrian lifetime, or a lifetime as a lion somewhere, it's going to like wake you up. Okay, there's also lions in, oh, I learned, they just said Pleiades too, because I learned about this recently. There is a section of Pleiades called Maropa, where there are lion beings as well. And they're saying lions are needed on earth right now. You need the lions. You need that energy. That is so not what I thought was going to come through today. That is great. I thought we were going to talk about the full moon. Um, okay. Anything else about the lions that are awakening? How can we support them? Let them roar. Okay. Let them roar. Don't. Okay. Perfect. Let them roar. Don't like try to quiet them down out of fear for their safety or out of fear that they are... Mm, they're showing it to me like, like some of us try to quiet down our fellow awakened souls so that they don't look like crazy or so that they don't like create, rock the boat. And we're like, no, everybody just come together in love and light. It's like, no, let them roar. That's what they literally came here to do. And you may not understand why, but you need to let them roar. Okay, that's beautiful. Let's remember that, right? Um, anything else? How else can we support them? Let them roar. Connect with them. Like when you see it, it'll be obvious. Like a newly awakened lion, it's going to be obvious. You can connect with them by messaging them and sending them your love and support. And that will actually help to calm and help them to stay peaceful because they're going to wake up it, like they're in the middle of a war, just coming out roaring. Like, and they're going to be, so they're going to need some peace too, healing, love, support. But we need them. We need their lion energy. We need them to continue to roar. So let them be. Give them that space we talked about before. You may not understand what they're talking about. Like they're coming in hot. They're coming in hot, but they're coming in with codes that we don't have, okay? Um, because it's a, it's a later wave. So you know how you send in like the first wave of infantry, the second? This one's coming in blasting. It's, it's gonna be powerful. It's gonna be powerful. We need to support them. We need to help them stay calm and peaceful, but we need to give them the space to roar. Okay, anything else? Are they evenly placed around the earth? They're showing me that they are concentrated in certain areas, but that they're, they're trying to awaken at least one in each area. So like there are some really small countries where maybe they would only need a couple. That's how powerful they are. And then there are places like the states where different states will need more. They actually said California, just out of nowhere. So there's going to be some lions waking up in California. Um, 
and Canada, UK, the ones that we mentioned, France. Anywhere else? Australia. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, there's a lot there. Oh, wow. Oh, that was like a huge blast of blue light in Australia. Help is coming. Help is coming. So I wonder if that means that there's going to be some extra solar activity coming up in the next couple of months because they showed it to me that the awakening codes were going to be um, riding the waves of solar flares, like using that as their vehicle. So interesting. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I love all the lion emojis. You guys are so funny. That's amazing. Um, Flow with Antoinette says, I appreciate that video. Um, oh, the protect, protect Yourself Starseed. Yes, check that one out. Um, once I started adding in Archangel Michael, as suggested, I can feel the extra layer of protection. Good. I noticed a really big difference once I started connecting to Source or Baba, which is what I call Source. God Source, Great Spirit, whatever. I start, I, I do a connection before I do anything now, even just a live like this, a session with a client, going to sleep, um, cause I was having some bad experiences um, in the astral dream space, um, before I do anything, anything at all really. I'm just connecting to, I'm trying to do it in the mornings too, to just help my dates, making such a difference, feeling protected, more calm, more at peace and more clarity. Okay. Um, <laughs> Brian says, I'm awake and ready to roar and maybe eat a few people. Let's give you the space to roar then. Let them roar. That's right. We just need to let them roar. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, thank you, Stephen. Just a nod to having, um, he had a psychic reconnection session and it was really helpful. Um, beautiful. Roaring in the heart of America. Amazing. Amazing. That's so beautiful. Okay. So... That's it. I'm going to end this live there. That was a beautiful download from the Galactic Federation. So just a really great opinion from them on how to help create a new earth through the communication and harmony and then showing us that help is on the way. Like we we think oh we're like this minority of awakened people. Just wait till they wake up the next wave. Like they're here as sleeper agents and they're going to wake up and it's going to be like it's going to be powerful. You guys, I'm so excited. Like how beautiful is that? So thank you so much for joining and I will repost this for you guys and just leave any comments or whatever below the replay if you want to connect with me. And then don't forget to check out the full moon experience on my website if you're wanting something to do, something powerful to do this full moon to help you get balanced and to help you get um, something out of it, you know, something out of that energy. And then send Canada your love for Monday it's our election day, it's the full moon, and then on Wednesday we have that passport happening, so send us your love, we need it, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you all really soon, okay, bye.